In this tutorial, we look at this one that says column width, pixel percentage, and then calculate. And when you look at this here, if you think carefully about it, you'll understand the formula. And if that doesn't work for you, I'm going to show you immediately now how to do that. Let's talk about column width, and I'm going to bring in new columns so that we can look at that. I'm going to click here on adding a new section and two columns. If you hover over this column and click on it, you are going to get the opportunity to edit the column. Currently, in Elementor, it only allows you to set the column width in percentages. So if I set it at 25, this will go to 25, and the adjacent column will immediately adjust to 75%. But what if I wanted to set this column width in pixels? And currently, Elementor does not allow you to do this. I'm going to use the word currently because this is something that I think every page builder should bring in. That kind of control is important to have the control over the pixels. This is where the PAFE column width comes in. You're going to have a problem though. If you have already played around with the column width percentage in Elementor, you cannot go and change it over here. You have to get rid of that one first up here. Watch what happens when I delete it and I click out of it, it comes back. It's back at 25%. To get rid of this, go to the section, and then you go over here under structure, and you set a reset structure. That will clear out all those changes that you have made. Let's go back to this column. And now let's say we want to give this column an absolute width of 300 pixels. What I'm going to do is here where it says pave column width, I'm going to type in 300 px and enter. You'll see that immediately it reduces it to 300 pixels, but we have a problem. The adjacent column has stayed the same 50% it originally was. It didn't fill out the entire section. To do that, remember we have set this one to 300 pixels. So to do that, we go to this column and then you use the following calculation. And it's not that difficult. Follow me. Type in CALC for calculation, open bracket, and then add 100%, but very important, you have to put a space first, then your dash minus, then another space, and now type in 300 pixels and close the bracket. And there you go. It is set just like that. So the first thing about this extension is it allows you this absolute control that you can set that percentage. The second thing that you have to also remember is that it is responsive. If you want to go into tablet and you want to change that, all you need to do is go to your column and then you just click here on your different responsiveness icons, click on tablet and you do the same process, set it up from here.